Okay, welcome back to another episode of Starfield. Another day, another few hours to put into a single episode of why the fuck does that keep popping up? I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Constellation, the artifacts. That doesn't sound crazy, does it? <laughs> Fucking lame-o. As much as I love uncovering It's been ages pressure. since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. This guy Just looks fucking dope. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. Well, this does huh. not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Uh... <laughs> and you must be Sam Coe, the Freestar Collective expert. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Hmm. Good to meet you, Cora. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Hmm? Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Uh... <coughs> <coughs> Only that it was in Freestar Collective Space. Sure enough. That's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila. For a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontiers are goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Uh... Anything I should know about Aquila? Yeah. Don't piss off the Freestar Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, their judge, jury, and Executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. I'm ready. Let's get to it. Okay. This guy's wearing a fucking we'll arrowhead necklace. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Alright. Uh, travel to Aquila City. Is there anyone else? I thought there was like three people we had to get. Vladimir. We'll probably just keep going with the Aquila City thing. But first, we have an interview to get to. I have things for you. You've got more shit for me? Alright, we'll just hold on to it for a second. Um... Actually, Sam, now that we have a moment, it's time to figure out the details of our little bet. Oh, come on, Sarah, not this again. I'm telling you, there's no point in setting up that wager. So you tend to stick with the ridiculous notion that the beer served at the hitching shut up. is better than Jake's. You can run around a better than and Jake's. find the back better of than your own Better than Madame Sauvage's place in Neon. We just need better to find anyone. your pen. Hands down. Hmm. <laughs> You must have banged your head on a console during that last grab jump. No one in their right mind would make a claim like that. All right, look, you want to throw your money away, I'd be happy to take it. Otherwise, let it go already. One day, we're going to system hop and test your theory. I just hope you're ready for some serious disappointment. Is this dude wearing fucking moccasins? You think I think. You zag, I zag. I am, your I am very close your to shadow, fucking putting you out of your misery. It hasn't taught me how to fucking do any of this. Do I build shit or do I buy shit? You know? Fuel, hull, cargo. I, I want more cargo space. Where would I know how, like, what place I want to put an outpost on, you know? This game has not taught me anything. Do you have some, anything interesting for me, Sarah? Yes. Have a look. Analgesic sap? 
All right. Well, um. Okay. Thanks, I guess. <coughs> this all feels. Sorry about that. All right. Where's that fucking interview? Oh, for fuck's sake. No. Uh, no. Not picking that up. <clears throat> uh, da 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 da. Let's leave the star system and go to Voli or Vol 2. Whatever. See you later, loser. Where am I going? To Neon. Exit. I'm here for an interview. Whoa. What the hell is this place? Welcome to Neon. That's so dope. I want to see the ship services. Can I buy uh, some stuff for my ship? See that shroud covering Neon? Believe it or not. You're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. That is so fucking dope. What the hell? Do we have shit like that? Probably doesn't. There's probably not anywhere on Earth that, like, has thunderstorms enough to harvest lightning like that. I don't even know. It, is that possible? That's For some reason, that sounds like... What sounds both ways like technology we can and can't do. Maybe I'm just fucking dumb. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. No, I don't need repairs. Uh, I'd like to view and modify my ships. Okay, no problem. Okay. Uh, ship builder. Ship builder allows you to fully design, modify, and paint your ship. The floor gauge to the right tells you where... New modules will appear when the floor gauge is at zero, for example. New modules will be placed in the center mass of the ship. Building new ship modules will cost credits and deleting them will give you credits back. The ship builder will give a running total and process the entire transaction at the end. There is a flight check that will give you warnings or errors if your design is invalid for any reason. Oh boy, okay. Um... Jesus Christ. I don't even know where to start. Alright, let's just... <laughs> Start from scratch, I guess. Um. I don't understand. Docker module needs to have an interior connection to the cockpit. And all modules must be above the landing bay. Wait a minute. Do you know how fucking hard it is to make this bitch symmetrical? I literally don't know what else to put on this fucking thing. I don't know literally what the fuck else to do. This thing is... Is about as fucking perfect and symmetrical as I could ever make it. And it's too fucking heavy to jump. Oh my god, it works? It works? Holy shit. Holy shit, this is my fucking demon baby of a goddamn ship. Oh my god. Let me see if I can change the colors. Oh wow, they have an entire fucking color wheel. This is way too much customization. Alright. Yeah, damn. This is looking pretty fire. 
Let's fucking go. Let's, uh, let's rename her. Um, how do I do that? Okay. She's no longer the frontier anymore. She is... The dandelion. Hell yeah. I love it. I fucking love it. Let's go. Except... God damn. Bro, you have no idea how fucking long that took me. That took me... That... That took me over an hour. That took... That took over one fucking hour... ...to put this fucking... <laughs> ...ugly-ass spaceship together. God damn. Alright, well... Wait. Is he wearing the same jacket as I am? That's... F ...fucking... ...lame. Alright, well, at least now we can get on with the actual fucking mission. Suck the credits, don't See that shroud covering me on? Believe it or not. What? The only city in the they- they get their power from lightning? Is that what you're gonna tell me? Because you already told me fucking two seconds ago. Talk to Doc Manning. Cut the act. Sniffers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step. Alright, get out of Aurora. I want to know what that is. Our products, your life, one dream. Well. Oh yeah, that's what we're here for. It's Ryujin. Um, excuse me. How's it going, pal? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, operations. Welcome to Ryujin Industries. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm here for uh, an interview. You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Yep, that Her sounds familiar. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Oh, uh... Sounds like a maze, right? So, if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. <laughs> I, uh, I was... <clears throat> I was gonna say that's actually so fucking rude to just not walk me back there, but as soon as he offered, I was like, uh, never mind. I'm sure I've got a waypoint. Um... I can find the Great. office. Well, good luck then. I'm sure I'll see you on your way out. Imagine it doesn't give you a waypoint, you just had to remember everything. You have to come back and be like, uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine being forced to spend my days doing menial work in an office like this, instead of exploring the stars on the bridge of a spacecraft. Yeah, well, you know what? Not everybody's fucking made of money, alright? You goddamn explorer. Influencer, ass bitch. Why don't you just quit your job and go fucking travel the world? Yeah, shut the fuck up. And your friend can wait outside. I'm sure they understand. When they ask for your greatest yeah. strength, tell them you lack empathy for your clients. That will make you a front runner for a mega corp position. Listen, Sarah. Some of us have to fucking work for a living. All right. So why don't you just fucking. Go talk to your parents for more money. Anyways. Uh... Alright, just to get a few things straight here. I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. Oh, I don't uh... normally do this, but my counterpart, Yuko, is indisposed at the moment. So, here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently, our algorithm felt you were a decent match. <coughs> so, let's get this started. Why do you want to work for Excuse Region me. Industries? I'm here for a paycheck. Um... That's the only reason why anybody in this fucking world works for anything, huh? Just looking to make a few credits. <sighs> oh, why not? 
Uh, Ryujin is the best tech company in settled systems. An excellent question, but enthusiasm can only take you so far. We don't operate on passion alone here, we look for skill. Which brings me to my next question. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? I can make any deal happen. Including this job? The art of the deal can go a long way here. If what you say is true, you'll have department heads fighting over you in no time. How motivated are you to succeed? Um... <laughs> God, I, f I fucking hate interviews. <laughs> Uh, la, 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 la. I'll go above. Ah, fuck, dude. This just made like this just makes me fucking cringe. Like I'm actually sitting in an interview, fucking selling my soul to the interviewer, trying to sell myself. I fucking hate selling myself. Ugh. I'll go above and beyond to get the job done. All in, huh? At least that's an attitude we can work with here. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what Sorry. role would you see yourself in? In five years, I'll be running this company. Um... Hopefully I'll have a role in management here. I feel like in five years I'll be running this company is too cock. I don't know. It's, it's just like one of those things you say and they all expect you to just... I don't know. Ah, fucking... If you yeah. can make any deal happen, management is just the tip of the iceberg. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. Oh, great. Awesome. On a probationary period? Of course. Uh-huh. First order. There's a meeting starting soon and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. What? Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. Oh, wow, so they're all cocks. Pick up coffee, huh? Well, this is just riveting. Can I help you? How's you it going, pal? Me. Is this time accounted for? Uh... I don't care if it is or not. I will take that as a no. It's not accounted for. If time is money, then suffice to say Ms. Serrano would not be pleased with such a frivolous expenditure. Wait. <laughs> you know that I just got hired? I thought you were a guy about to be interviewed for another position. I was going to tell you you didn't get the job. I didn't realize you already worked here. Uh, it's just a hallway conversation. We don't need to document everything. You may have a point. And since you clearly have bandwidth to spare, maybe you can help me clean up a, um, minor indiscretion. What the fuck? Uh... What's your schedule like here? We'll each assign shifts to assist operatives, ensuring coverage at all hours. Personally, I like to keep my circadian rhythms intact. Early to rise, early to bed, as <coughs> nature intended. Uh, I might be able to help you with this minor indiscretion. Good. Let me give you some background. Recently, I've been assisting the impoverished in both Ebside and the Underbelly. I pay for the occasional meal, clinic visit, or comfort. But I may have lost a slate in the process. What does I that need mean? you to locate and retrieve it for me. Uh, uh, oh, a slate. Yeah, those fucking pieces of data. Why trust me? It's not a matter of trust, but one of time. I have little to spare. You do not. <sighs> What's on these documents? Reassignment intel for one of our operatives. The contents <laughs> themselves aren't too sensitive, so <laughs> if you're thinking of betraying me, they aren't worth much as leverage. My... Sloppiness <coughs> is simply an embarrassment that I'd like to correct. Hmm. I'll find your slate. Then we have an agreement. Good. Go to the underbelly and talk to the panhandler, Huang. Discarded items are her specialty. So she may have come across the slate herself. If you can manage to find it, bring it back to me. 
and I will pay you for the time. For the time? Alright, well, then I'll take my time. Fucking bringing it back to you. Goodbye. See you later. Fucking dick. Fucking just look at this place. This is the goddamn Las Vegas well, Strip. With all signs pointing or, to the Astral Lounge. Not. Oh, this is Fremont Street. That's what I meant to say. Uh, sorry, everybody. Hi there. Well, hello, and welcome to Terra Brew. How may I serve you? Oh, the reunion order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that promotion? I got fired. Is what happened. Huh? And this is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Easy, buddy. Tomo, I'm, I'm just sorry. playing a video game. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk, getting coffee, kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen, just to get replaced by this nobody. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry you got fired, but it was your own fault for bending over backwards for people that don't give a fuck. <sighs> All I did was Hearing respond to an ad. And the first sign they were going to get rid of me. I bet Ularu was just waiting for the moment to hire you. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. Whoa, so whoa. I'm taking matters into my own hands. Whoa, what does that mean? Believe me. It's either you or me. Uh, bro. No one's been sent to terminate anyone. Now, why don't you just calm down? Hmm? Before someone accidentally gets hurt. Sarah being the de-escalator. Uh... What do you mean it's either you or me? You don't just get to learn all the ins and outs of Ryujin operations and then just walk away. Even worse, I got fired. <laughs> They don't let that kind of knowledge run around in the head of disgruntled employees. It's just a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. <coughs> Sorry, bro. I've been uh, I've been working with some sort of a fucking cold for the last two weeks. Why are you smiling, dude? That's so fucking creepy. Hold on. Let's talk about this. As much as I would love to punch you in the face and just fucking knock you out. Let's talk. You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind, and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. Listen, it's not about uh, whether or not I deserve it. It's about you're being a fucking crazy person, and I just need money. God damn it. Look, I can tell you don't really want to do this. No, no, I, I have to do this. You don't understand. Um, just put the gun down. It can't be helped. I have no choice here. Look, at some point, Ular really will send you after me. <coughs> just, just promise me you'll remember this. That, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. Why would I be the one they send? Let's just say Ryujin doesn't like loose ends. Chen fired me, and now she's going to see me as a liability. And that's why it's just a matter of time before our paths cross again. Okay? And when they do, I'm just hoping you'll listen to me like I listen to you. All right. Sure. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. Anyways, how about that coffee? No worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Uh, do you work for Ryujin? How would Ry How would Ryujin handle it? Ryujin has connections everywhere. Even Benjamin Bayou. You know, the very man that runs Neon. They're practically untouchable around here. Just getting in with them, you're setting yourself up for life. <coughs> Provided you don't get fired first, of course. Right. Um, what can you tell me about that guy? Tomo had been Ryujin's errand boy for some time now. Lots of ambition. Dying to get up that food chain, if you know what I mean. He always seemed really nice, so a stunt like that? 
I never saw it coming. Nobody ever does. I still need to pick up that order. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. Right, okay. Back to Imogene. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. I'm listening. <sighs> Uh, no, I'm Remember listening. Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? I mean, that's one well, of the only options I was there. It got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through <coughs> Constellation's older <coughs> journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Your predecessor? You never mentioned your predecessor to me before. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. Aja, huh? <laughs> uh, Aja must have been quite an amazing person. <laughs> Keep talking like that and I might get jealous. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what I want to do with this uh, Sarah person. I, I mean, you know, I mean, she has to obviously be a romance option. She's not looking terribly great in this lighting. Uh, but you know, what's like, what's, what's a little harmless flirting here and there? Um. Well, there's no reason to be jealous. They were just, I don't know, different times. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Mm. <clears throat> uh, the rookie being paired with the share. Sounds awfully familiar. Hey, so I pinched a few ideas from my old boss. <laughs> Can you blame me? <coughs> at any rate, <coughs> we logged quite a few discoveries together. But it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. Uh... Did you two discover anything I might have heard about? We catalogued unusual <coughs> stellar phenomena, a few habitable worlds, and some unique life forms, but nothing SSNN would bother to report. Well, I can relate to that. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. Um... <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. So I've noticed. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. You know... All this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. <laughs> uh, is she, uh, dead? No, she retired. Living on Porima 2 now, I think. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit. And I could make proper introductions. Um. Well. Hopefully I'm a suitable substitute. Yeah, you'll do. <laughs> Look, I don't expect you to be an exact copy of Aja. Your hunger for exploration. To pierce the veil and seek the unknown. It's a common bond that we share. I wouldn't have it any other way. Fli I'd like to discover more about what we have right here. <laughs> <coughs> oh, shit. Um, shit, yeah, I'd do that. I, I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. Oh, don't, if you don't knew worry about, about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, well, give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. What the? 
relax, Sarah. All I did was fucking... It's just a little bit of... <coughs> it's just a little bit of flirting, alright? Don't, don't take it so personally. Um... Unless you killed, like, a hospital full of children, I don't think that there's a way that- I hate the self-pity thing, like, Oh, nobody knows the things that I've I done. Do this right. Everybody would look at me like a monster if they knew- Like, dude, shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Hmm. Uh... I'm new here and got a little lost. A decent excuse, but not the answer I was looking for. I know that Tomohigashi, an ex-employee of ours, accosted you at the Terra Brew. And oh. before you get any ideas, no. The barista didn't sell you out. Well then... Ryujin has enough connections in Neon that an incident like this would never slip by. Well that's Deception scary. Deception aside... Some of us are impressed by how you handled the situation and would like to try you out in a different role at the company. Oh wow, my and first since you go fucking isn't here to object, <laughs> promotion. Your new position starts right now. <clears throat> so, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? Talking through it was the right way to handle the situation. I'm proud of you. Oh, flirting back now, huh? Um That better mean I'm getting a raise. Of course. We believe in risk versus reward here. I'm not about I'm to just take on more responsibility. Operative. The position is a bit more complicated moolah. and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> sorry. Um. What do you mean by add influence? In any case where a threat to success is established, one of us is sent out to create a more desired outcome. This may be through a conversation or presenting some new information. It's all very situational, as you'll soon see. Right. And... How am I supposed to ensure success? Well, it depends on the job, really. If someone can't be persuaded with words, perhaps a more forceful approach is necessary? You're basically removing obstacles from the equation. Mm. And why is it confidential? Like any good corporation, we consider what we do here to be a trade secret. Right. If others knew and could mimic our actions, it would take away our edge. Uh-huh. Well, no other questions, I'm good. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Okay, um... Real quick, I'm about two hours into this recording session. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna start a new session so I don't fucking lose everything up to this point. Okay. I'm back. How's everybody doing? Uh... Ah, coffee. Yeah. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. Hey man, I feel ya. <clears throat> uh, maybe Ryujin should acquire Terra Brew. Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the Tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terra Brew within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. CFO. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Yep. Which hopefully won't be often. Yeah, well. Uh, understood. Good. Then it appears we have nothing left to discuss. This introduction was not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. Right. I almost took you for a good guy. Um. Genevieve? Just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. Mm -hmm. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. <laughs> <coughs> Ah. 
Uh, nice to meet you. Likewise. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now you can is put a face how much work else. are you uh. going to be? How much work? Uh. To talk? It's about that special project we're working on from Isalzo. What are you doing? Don't Do you hear that in the background? Here. Follow me. Let's talk somewhere more private. What the fuck? I want to know what's going on there. <laughs> that project. Sorry, I haven't said anything. Uh. Uh, I'm new at this, so I may need some forgiveness at first. A few slip-ups are to be expected. Just know that one screw-up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. Mm. So, any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Right. Alexis Coffee, Price. Finally. Oh, well, this woman sounds like a Well, let's have a look at you. Uh, hope you like what you see. That depends on your actions going forward. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, <laughs> and I'll be direct. <coughs> Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. Hmm. So steer clear of law enforcement. That's we may usually... have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Uh, I'm like a ghost. No one will ever catch me. Good. Then we should get along just fine. All right. And... Sir, you have some stuff on your face. Come on. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Gamden yeah. Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Same department, all right. Um, what exactly do you do here? I have the glorious job of keeping all the departments supplied with exactly what they need. Anything from rare materials for R&D to slates and design software for marketing. You could say I'm the one aspect of operations that keeps this department legit. Huh. Uh, yeah, so the barista said she triple checked the grind herself. Ah, oh, so she remembered. Not that I expect much out of Terra Brew Coffee, but hey, I suspected their grinder was on its last leg. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Is that right? Um. <coughs> Good. My job description certainly sounded otherwise. Sometimes it takes uh, drastic measures to ensure we can deliver the best products possible. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Mm -hmm. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. Right. All right, Imogene. I'm done serving these. Fuckwits. Now what do I gotta do? What do I get paid? Your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. Um. The basic theme was don't get caught. That doesn't surprise me. Now that you've met a few of the execs, oh, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Kelt Corp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. Uh, this kind of sounds like a job for Neon and Freestar Security. I suppose an outsider might think that. But we prefer to handle incursions like this in-house. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Uh... How do I gain access to their computer? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> that one was untimed. How do I gain access to their computers? That's up for you to determine. Think of it as the creative aspect of your job. Hmm. There's always more than one way to get a job done around here. 
a bit trivial for me, but I suppose I could spare the time. <laughs> I should hope so. Considering this is your job, not a favor. Here's the data slate. Good luck. Unmarked data slate. Upload the program at... Keltcorp? Alright, let's see what happens. If Benjamin Bayou's ego was as combustible as Helium-3, he'd be able to provide enough fuel to power every ship in the settled systems. Whoever the fuck that is. I've heard that Benjamin Bayou has a private penthouse at the top of the tower. Mm, the view from up there must be breathtaking. Oh, so you know Keltcorp. Okay, so that Benjamin Bayou is the CEO or something? <clears throat> Hope you don't mind, but we're gonna go upstairs. So, we need to get back there somehow. How the hell am I gonna do that? Can I just walk through? Oh, okay. What? I'm working here? I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. It's been non-stop interruptions since this morning, and I'm not spending another break at my desk listening to code. Let me, uh... Get into this. Um. Got it. Shipping order status. Consolidated mining. Uh, six sisters mining. Okay, nothing interesting. Uploaded the program. Purging history. Purge complete. Executable file. Executing, huh? So we got... Server access? Huh. You know what, screw it. I'm going to Terrabrew right now. Uh, oh, I'll hello. No. Just, uh, was tying my shoes. Don't even worry about it. What do you call them? Pawns? Yeah. Alright, well, um... Turns out the person I was looking for isn't here, so I'm just gonna go back downstairs. Alright, and then going back up to operations to talk to Imogene be condescended to and hopefully get some more fucking money because we spent a whole load on that goddamn ship that I still haven't even seen. We haven't gone off world since we got here. Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? Um, I know it's you don't already know. <laughs> a fair question. We may have plenty of eyes and ears out there, but I'm still going to need an answer. Huh. Uh, it went well. No incidents to report. Not a single setback. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. Uh... I don't exactly have a reputation for clean work. So, you've gotten caught in the past. Now's the time to make new habits. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. Framing? I don't recall arts and crafts being in my job description. <laughs> And I'd argue that arts and crafts is exactly what we do here. Just on a much higher level. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and will be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first, and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Where do I need to leave this evidence? The inspection will be similar to an audit. These things are usually pretty thorough. Filing cabinets, desks... I trust you can be smart about it. And what are the do's and don'ts? We want a clean and careful job. Obviously, we don't want any bad press at this point, or we could lose the deal. I don't want to hear any news about bounties or bodies coming out of Aquila City. Hmm. All right, I'll make sure it gets done. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. 
Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp, so at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. Two digipics. Okay, uh, maybe I ask about payment on the next one because I don't know if I got paid. Well, this is quite the uh, fucking detour from what we were originally doing with, uh, what was his name? Sam Co, the cowboy? Well, this is my new ship. Look at her. Ain't she a beaut- That whole thing is the landing gear? Holy shit, yeah, she is a big bitch. God damn. Storage crate. Oh, hey, I could take all that, uh, those resources from you. Yeah, let me take all that. Bye. Stop, stop sounding sexy to me. Where did all this shit come from? Where did the aid? Why did I put them in here? Is this stuff I... Is this stuff that I had in my ship and then since I deleted it all and remade it, it put it into my inventory? Okay, that's interesting. Check out this fucking new cockpit. This is nice and roomy. Captain's locker. Let's, uh, let's take this bitch for a ride. Look at her go. She looks like a fucking arrowhead. <laughs> alright. It's not too bad. Handling feels pretty alright. Um, she's probably way more equipped to be in fights and shit. My shields are only at 75% though. God damn it. Well. I'm guessing we can always fix that at another time. Um, all right, let's go up to Cheyenne fuel consumption 47.58. I don't know what my fuel was before Uh, Jump range and jump distance I mean Yeah, let's just go Band on me, so go ahead. That's all we need. You're cleared for landing at Aquila City. All right, uh, let's get down there then. Aquila City, here we come. Wait, let's scan the planet. Lots of water, um, nickel, and some other stuff. Aluminum. Exit the ship. What exactly New Atlantis, eh? Alright, uh, this looks... Oh shit. Yeah, Sam. Uh, wait, are we supposed to be here for... What am I doing? We're still on this. Aquila City. Were we supposed to come here for the main mission? Alright, we're here. Oh shit. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail until this is over. Uh hold on, I wanna check a few things first. Alright, but don't take too long. Or Cora's gonna get bored and start disassembling things. Yeah, right. Good luck trying to disassemble that fucking thing. 
this has some Fallout vibes to it. Hold it. Whoa. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Well, well, well. Pique my curiosity. Uh, what's the trouble? Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the Marshal if you want the whole story. Uh, is Marshal Blake in charge of security? Not usually, but he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. Mm. The Marshal's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang, so he's calling the shots. I'll keep that in mind. If you think you might be able to help out, you could talk to the Marshal. Why? <laughs> Why would you assume I that I would want to help out? So good. Job gone wrong. I just want to know it. So many stories about Akiva City. <laughs> I feel as though I've lived here all my life. I just want to know if the guy's got away with any money and if it's possible that I can find it. we can trust and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards neither. What am I supposed to do with that? Well, God damn it. There's a lot going on here, and why did it automatically switch ship for me? I've got other stuff I gotta do. Aquila is one of the oldest cities in the settled systems. So wow! Thanks for that piece range. of information. I didn't give a fuck about. Why don't we just close the UC it? can't be that it's bad, like can it? Juice. I need some place to. Can I go back here? But you know, stretch trash and come back and Lord me. Worse. Let them. A few beer bottles and drinks. Restroom? Yes, Miss If you need help, Miss oh. Lance is just downstairs. Oh, uh, yeah, no problem. Um, can I get in to... No? Awesome. Yep. Uh, you can go ahead and... You can leave if you want. You can... Can leave. So what am I supposed to do with that? Plant the confidential files. If only there was a way to like put them to sleep or something. CS floor is downstairs. Right, 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 right. Yeah, sorry. I did I I'm obviously lost a little bit. Hidden, 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 hidden. Huh, okay. Still hidden. Still hidden. Ooh. Uh. I've got five or four, so. Announcements. Uh, press inquiries? We know the press has recently reached out about several members of our staff. Should you be contacted, reach, please reach out to a public relations representative before responding. Yeah, pretty good idea. Uh, quarterly update. As you should all be aware, our quarterly meetings is fast approaching. Attendance is not mandatory, but secure connections are required. Encourage anyone who wishes to join to contact IT. And then uh, security training. All employees, that security training is mandatory and must be completed by the end of the month. This uh, son of a bitch in here did not get the security training. Uh, Alright, right, right. I have to put it in there. Okay. It's in. I guess I'm gonna leave now. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. I thought I um thought I left something up here. Uh, I'm gonna leave now. Laredo, that is a.
strange ass place to have your company at. Do I want to deal with this right now? No, you know what? We'll come back with Sam uh, because Sam needs to be here anyway. Let's just finish up uh, this job for Imogene. Wind it up. Okay. Back to fucking neon. Okay, Imogene. Show up soon. Is it done? It's uh done, but hardly seems fair. If you've got some morality issues, this definitely isn't the job for you. And the truth is, in this industry, this is about as fair as it gets. Laredo is far from squeaky clean, and believe me, we've got our own eyes out for their moves as well. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. 2500, huh? I think I've more than proven myself on uh Aren't I legally allowed some sort of break? <laughs> Uh, I think I've more than proven myself by now. It's a decent start, but we'll see. Your next assignment is to find a security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security keycard. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. <sighs> You're stifling my creativity. Um, what do you need the key card for? We just need some easy access to competitor security. Sometimes obtaining a legitimate form of access is preferred over brute forcing it. Hmm. Well, let's get started. Good luck. I'm sure you'll be able to get that key card without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. Right. Okay. Wear a suit or security guard uniform. I'm just gonna try and yoink it off of him. Uh, this might be the last part of the job that we do because I'm coming up on three hours of recording. Travel to Gargarin Gagarin La Landing. Uh, can't fast travel to my ship, so that's super cool. There are a lot of ships out here. Free, free star merchant? Wait a minute. No, free star is, sorry. Free star is just like, just a standard merchant. But I do need to sell some stuff, so give me a second. I was thinking, um, I was thinking something else. I don't know why, that it was like, um, uh, uh I don't know, somebody I could sell stuff to. Uh, the contraband stuff. Well, let's see. Oh, sure. Take a look. Alright. Sell. Alright. That should be good. Thanks, man. <sighs> well, there's some clipping in that rock, so that's really awesome. Is it because this ship's too big? My construction this is okay. a dead end destruction, Pretorius. Those jobs aren't coming back. But Relying Medical, Archimized, and Satori Mills are dedicated to Gagarin. We were I've just got applications Gagarin in show the same dedication and I know. All right, uh... You sure you belong oh, here? Oh, I need... Is... Is... <coughs> is he the guy? You lost? So you don't look like you belong here. Bro. I belong here, man. Um... 
how would I... Okay, that guy's coming around. Let me make sure that my skills are on point here. Uh, I don't even have Thief unlocked, so let's unlock that. Watch your step. It's easy to take a sudden trip around here. Right, 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 right. Um, you're just gonna stand here? Our Why is there so security much security? I heard the story about a kid who was walking and he fell through the catwalks and they never found him. All because he didn't study for a citizenship exam. But I don't think that's true. <laughs> uh, was that supposed to be a child? That looked like a fucking old woman. Alright, I am detected. At what point am I not detect- I'm hit. Don't- Uh, nope. Mm, nothing. Nothing, no big deal. No big deal. Just going for a stroll this way. Ain't nobody... Are you serious? Are you serious? Don't even think about trying. Who gives anything. a fuck? And who are you talking to, huh? Think you're talking to me? Okay, okay. I need to save before, before I fuck this up. Give it to me. Nope, nope, Hold uh, it right there. fucking You're in all kinds of trouble. I've been caught pit pocketing. Um Huh. Can I just leave on my can I just leave on my spaceship? Uh if I if I leave this, can I just run to my spaceship, get on it, and leave? I'm gonna try it out. We got a live one here! I can't be a part of this. Don't worry about it. Just come back with me on the ship. Fuck, 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 ship, fuck. Come on, Vasco. We gotta go. Go, 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 go. Shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Uh How do I get the fuck out of here? Like How would you not be able to fucking leave? Like I'm not in combat. Um what if I just want to jump somewhere else? Want to bet? Holy shit. Okay. Uh, well, we got out of it. Retrieve the security card. Wait, did I not even get it? I didn't even get the key card? I thought it was like, you just get caught. I didn't know you didn't actually pick it up. <laughs> Fucking god damn it. I would have been- I would have been cool to just keep riding that little wave and then, you know. Pretty sure Sarah's not even with us right now, so we're gonna have to fucking reload it, son of a bitch. Cause it said confiscated items get returned or whatever. So I assumed that that meant we had it. Hidden, 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 hidden. Whoa! For real? For real? For real? For real? Man, Listen here, you fucking piece vacation? of shit. Why don't you fucking go take a vacation? Asshole, I'm trying to do something illegal here. Can you look away, please? God, I hate you. Damn here. it. How? You're under arrest. No sudden moves. 70% uh likely to fucking get it.
Is it just not? Is that not a thing? Am, or is it 70% likely to get caught? Because so far I'm at 100% caught, 0% not caught. It might be to get caught. You pick <gasps> a pocket or a fight. Just relax, okay? Don't fucking talk so loud. I finally got it. Alright, well, see you later, officer. Security officer. Alright, Vasco, let's get the fuck out of here. Welcome to Neon. Yep. Nope. It's a pleasure to be here. Where am I going? Okay. Hey there. Got that key card for me? Yeah, it only took me four or five fucking saves. Uh, here's the key card. Now we're talking. Not bad for a novice. I think you're ready to kick things up a notch. And your timing couldn't be better. Is that right? Another 2,500. Uh... I'm always ready to screw over the competition. Like, dude, relax. Uh... uh um... Actually, I'm still questioning the legality of this job. Uh, I'm ready for anything. Good. It's time for a change of pace. This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astra Lounge here in Neon. Mm. Discretion and the Trade Tower in Neon don't exactly go hand in hand. All right, well, the Astral Lounge sounds exciting. I thought that might spark interest. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. <laughs> um, Infinity and Quantum Synergies? What are these companies? Infinity LTD is one of our aspiring competitors. They have products in several similar fields, ships and neuroamps being the exception. Quantum Synergies specializes in ship operating software. We don't consider them a major competitor since their product line is so narrow. If the two are meeting to work out a contract, that tells us Infinity must be looking to get into the ship business. And we'd like to delay that, if we can. All right, well, consider it done. That's what we're hoping for. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergy's executive director, Zola Adisa, and their financial manager, Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. Um... <laughs> Reading? I'll be fine on my own. We're looking for optimal results, which won't be achieved by luck alone. Our team has crafted these dossiers based on psychological profiles, observation, and past history. Neglecting them would be highly irresponsible. The uh. Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. Alright, well... Sounds like that meeting's gonna be chaos. Whenever executives are faced with numbers that don't properly match up, any faith they may have had will falter. Finally, I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? Why do you say this like it's something I've already done before? Uh... What if I'm not? I got it, I'm I ready. You are. Just remember to keep a low profile. Don't let the Astral Lounge distract you too much. <sighs> but what if I wanna? Alright, well. That's a perfect place to go ahead and end this episode. Well, not perfect, but it'll have to do. I'm fucking three hours in. I gotta take a break. Anyways. If you made it to this part of the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching the series so far. Sorry if they're a little bit long, but I mean, there's quite literally so much to fucking do in a single episode that, you know, it's... I can't just end it randomly. I gotta find a spot somewhere. 
And hopefully this is okay to do so. Um, anyways, I'm going to end that here. And I hope you see me in the next one. Thanks again.